Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm digital planning on my Samsung tablet using Penly app. I'm planning for the month ahead as well as doing a review of the past month. I really enjoyed making this purple Halloween theme spread, so let's get straight into the video. I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus, and the first thing I'm doing is importing my digital planner into Penly app. So Penly comes with some planners, but I wanted to use this particular purple planner to go along with the Halloween theme I had in mind. I made this overlay sticker and the color was a little bit too vibrant, so I used Ibis Paint to tone it down, and then I just drag and dropped it onto my page using a split screen window. I'll stick this in my freebies vault afterwards if you want to use it yourself. The sticker is semi-transparent so you can still see the calendar underneath and I used the color dropper tool to get the exact same shade of purple so I could draw these tombstones into a slightly different shape. And here's a trick to lock this overlay sticker from accidentally moving around because I'm going to be writing over it and adding more images on top. So what you can do is group these objects together and then just make sure you have group unchecked under the lasso tool and this will effectively stop you from accidentally selecting and moving those objects. Next, I bulk imported my holiday stickers into the stickers panel and added in the holidays for the month. Later in the video, I'll share how I fill in my review for the past month. So here I'm just creating a hyperlink to that page. You can create an internal hyperlink to any page within the file by specifying the page number. And this just allows me to easily jump between the two pages. Then I used a semi-transparent white highlighter to go over the words. Back on my monthly page, I added this sticker to help me brainstorm my goals for the month. I recently returned from visiting my grandparents in China, during which time I took a complete break from work, so I'm keen to get back on track and be more productive next month. I'm aiming to post this video by the 1st, and Dan comes back from the UK on the 3rd. I'm really looking forward to having him back, but somehow I am much more productive when I'm at home by myself. It's been ages since I worked on any new products for the shop, so I'm wanting to do that this month. Here I decided I didn't like my own handwriting, so I rewrote it using the handwriting to text feature, which comes out in font. And I also ended up tweaking the color of this highlighter, which you can do by selecting the object and picking a new color from the palette. I added in some stickers from my Halloween stickers pack, and I went for the ones that fit in with the color scheme, being mostly purples, black and white. I really like these cute ghost stickers, so I put them everywhere. In Penly app, you can rotate objects 90 degrees by tapping on the round blue handle. My digital planner bundles come with a whole bunch of stickers in 50 colors, so I ended up going through all of them to find the best shade of purple that matches the theme. I settled on this color and I use this tab sticker to plan when I'm going to be starting work on my next video. I hand doodled this play button icon using a white pen, and then I drew a white border around the sticker using the shapes tool. I like this white border effect, so I went and did the same with the other stickers. I also tried drawing my own sticky note using the shapes tool, using a white outline as well as a semi-transparent white fill. I added a text title, and then I used the space to plan some day trips for when the weather gets cooler. Summer in Dubai has been intense, and we've spent the last three months pretty much indoors hiding from the heat, so I can't wait to do some outdoor activities. With the shapes tool, you can go back and change the color of the outline or the fill, just like you can do with handwriting. And then I just grouped everything together and added this purple camera sticker. I dropped in some other tasks and shop work that I would like to get done this month. Christmas is always our busiest time when people start buying planners for the new year, so I definitely want to get a head start and make sure I'm ready for that. Here I reused the tab sticker I created earlier and just changed the writing and the icon doodle. We've been living in Dubai for six months now and I just about feel settled in, but I still have lots of things to sort out like a more ergonomic desk setup to improve my posture when I'm working. I dropped in this icon sticker to remind myself of the upcoming Amazon Prime Day sales when I'm hoping to pick up some extra stuff for my home office setup. Here I wrote this quote to remind myself to be grateful and to focus on the good things, and then I just duplicated the words in a different color to make this text shadow effect. For the past few weeks, I've been feeling a little anxious. My mom is currently in hospital for some health issues. So I also put this affirmation sticker here that says, I will focus on today one thing at a time. This past month, I took a long break from posting on social media whilst I was in China. So next month, I'm hoping to make two videos if I get the time. I can be quite hard on myself when I don't feel like I'm getting much done. And recently, I've been giving myself more allowance to just rest and have lazy, unproductive days, which I really enjoyed. 
I doodled some sparkles using a white pen and I think that is a good place to stop since I have already spent way too long on the spread. I love the flexibility of planning digitally, but it also means I can get carried away with tweaking things, especially since the last Penly update, which made it possible to change object colors. So this is what the whole page looks like, and I really like the purple Halloween theme with the overlay sticker. If you like this sticker, don't forget to grab it from my freebies vault, which I've linked in the video description. Next, I thought I'd quickly share how I fill in my monthly review. I actually did all of this before I made my October spread as I personally prefer to review the past month and then plan for the next month ahead. For the first section, I'm writing about my highlights and achievements for the past month. I wrote about my trip to China and hiking the Great Wall with Dan and my brother Kevin. I edited this photo in Ibis Paint and then added it onto my page along with a photo frame sticker. That was a really fun but tiring day. We took a cable car up, hiked along the wall and then took a slide down the mountain. I hadn't seen Kevin or my mum since I left the UK, so I had a really great time with my family around me. For the favourite moments and memories section, I added more photos and images about my trip. Dan and I were super excited to spot a black squirrel in the botanic garden, and another happy memory was having a picnic beside a lake full of water lilies. Dan and I both love to travel, and our favourite things to do are probably spotting animals, enjoying the scenery and eating lots of local food. Here I use the Samsung tablet's image cutout feature to lift this object out of the background. I absolutely love this feature, it's so convenient, especially for digital journaling. To use this feature, all you have to do is long press on the object and drag and drop it onto your page using a split screen window. You can see the cutout edges are really neat and tidy, but it does depend on what the original photo looks like and what other objects are also in the photo. For the difficulties and challenges section, I wrote about having a stressful time getting ready for the trip because Dan and I were just running around trying to get everything done. I found it challenging to fit any sort of self-care activity into my schedule when there were so many unfinished tasks at hand. For the next section, I wrote about what worked for me and what didn't work for me during the month. What worked was taking time off from work to relax and pamper myself as it left me feeling refreshed and re-energized and what didn't work was over-preparing for the trip trying to make sure nothing went wrong. I shaded these in using different color highlighter pens to make them stand out more. For what I learned, I wrote down a quote I came across that really resonated with me. It talked about how unrealistic expectations can lead to unhappiness and how you shouldn't push yourself too far and knowing when to step back and take care of yourself. I like this quote because it made me realize I was being too hard on myself. On the next section, I brainstormed some things I could improve on, like getting a better desk set up to help my posture. I've been using Dan's sit-stand desk whilst he's been away, and now I'm looking for one for myself. For key events during the month, I wrote about doing my first sponsored video and how we reached a milestone on the Happy Downloads TikTok account. I took a screenshot using one hand operation, which gives you these useful side handles, and then I cropped the image down to size. I grew up completely avoiding social media, so I'm really proud at having learned the skills to making and editing videos, and that there's people out there watching and enjoying them. In the next month section, I wrote down my intentions for the next month, like keeping realistic expectations, taking breaks, and prioritizing my healthy habits. So that is my review for the past month, and I find it really helpful to do this exercise at the end of each month before I start planning for the month ahead. Here is what the whole page looks like once I filled everything in. It was nice to reflect back on the month and do a bit of digital journaling as well, because I haven't had time to keep a separate journal recently. I've been pretty good at keeping up with my healthy habits recently, and here on my habit tracker page, I wrote out all the habits I want to keep track of this month. I read the book Atomic Habits, and I've been using the tips from there, such as starting small and trying to improve by a little bit every day. When it comes to filling it out, I just stamp each box using the highlighter pen. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for themes I can do for future videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. Check out my other videos in the meantime and I'll see you in the next one.